found a new object that uh, never comes uh, very close to the sun. It's uh, some two and a half times further out than Pluto is. It has a very large orbit, uh, and its name is 2015 TG387. And so the new object we just discovered uh, is very faint. It's uh, on the edge of the detection of our detectors, uh, but it's very far out as well. And based on its brightness, we think it's about 300 kilometers in diameter, which is on the small end of what we think a dwarf planet is. It's about uh, six times smaller than Pluto is, uh, and Pluto is on the large end of a dwarf planet. Uh, we nicknamed this object the Goblin because it has a TG in its provisional designation and uh, we also discovered it near Halloween in 2015. The new object we found uh, never comes uh, closer than 65 astronomical units uh, to the sun, which is 65 times the Earth's sun distance. It never comes anywhere near the giant planets uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. So it's a very stable object, uh, and we can probe the outer source system with it because it doesn't get interact with the uh, planets that we know of. So the new object we discovered has a very elongated orbit, uh, and it's actually elongated in the same way that several other uh, extreme distant objects are known of, such as Sedna, and another object we discovered, 2012 BP113. And that all these distant objects have very similar elongated orbits around the similar part of the sky, suggests that uh, something is shepherding them into these similar types of orbits. And we believe that is a, something we're calling Planet X, uh, something that's bigger than Earth. It's a super Earth to Neptune sized object in the far distant solar system. And uh, our simulations of this new object, as well as the other objects that are known uh, very far in the solar system, suggest this uh, very large planet shepherds these objects into these similar types of orbits, uh, keeping them, the smaller objects, away from the bigger objects for the age of the solar system and keeping them stable. So these objects are very isolated in terms of their gravitational interactions. And so they're good probes to see what's going on in the far distant outer solar system. If there is a large giant planet out there, it would interact with these uh, smaller dwarf planet type objects and, and push them around. And that's what we think we're seeing. We're seeing these smaller objects cluster into similar types of orbits due to the interactions with this uh, unknown, uh, very distant giant planet. So we think there's a, a lot of these smaller objects out there, uh, dwarf planet-sized objects uh, in the very distant solar system. We think there's some 10,000 of them probably um, that are well beyond Pluto. And they're very small, so they're, they're fairly hard to discover because they're so far from the sun. So that's why it's taken us so long to discover most of these. There's only a handful known right now. And uh, as we continue our survey, we hope to discover uh, many more. But most of them will, will never be discovered in our lifetime because they have very elongated orbits, and we can only see the smallest objects when they're closest to the sun. Uh, when they move far away from the sun, which is some 90% of their orbits, are too distant and the objects to be too faint for us to see. In 2014, when we originally discovered 2012 BP113, we were about 60% sure that there was probably a planet out there. In 2016, we found a few more extreme uh, distant source of objects, and we're about 70, 75% sure that planet is probably out there. And with this new discovery, we're now at 80, 85% uh, probability. So if we can just find a few more of these small objects, uh, it may uh, get us to the, to the really high percentage of 90 some percent that the planet might be out there.